that people may have so that they will be able to have a better understanding and walk with the Lord, our Father. Please, Lord, bless us, bless the message, bless those who hear it. Please help this be something that will help many people along the way in their understanding and open up their eyes to it. Help us to prepare our hearts and our minds of communion to be a meditation to think about what you did for us on the cross as our reminder why we're here today. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. So we have the uh, wafer, which represents symbolically his presence being with us. And we have the blood, which represents the blood that was shed on the cross to wash away and to erase our sins, basically. So let's talk about the wafer. Jesus took bread, broke it, and gave it to the disciples. He says, take and partake this. Eat this because this is the show that I'm presently always with you. Not just during communion, but all the time throughout everything you do in your very lives as being a Christian brother or sister in the faith or other faith. If you take communion without being baptized, you're really just going through the motions, my friend. Because it has no meaning because you're not covered by the blood of Jesus. Unless you have been baptized, born again, immersed, then communion has no meaning to you until that happens. So I say strongly, if you're not baptized, don't take communion. Because that's what the scriptures say. That's not what I say, but that's what the word does teach. Let's think about those thoughts and meditate on the Lord. Like in the same manner as the, the cracker, the bread represents the, of him being presently with us. You know, symbolically, really him being present with us intimately in our daily lives all the time in and outside of the church where we go to church online or whether it be in a building or both places, Lord. You know, that we will, rep we will act accordingly. This blood too does serve as a reminder that all sins are washed away. Not just blotted out, but they're erased. If we truly, seriously, sincerely can repent for him. Just like he promises. And to those who are who are baptized, born again believers, as they pray their sin, sins are forgiven every day, even from the day they've been baptized. It says that we daily sin and we daily ask for forgiveness and through our prayer times. The same happens every day when we live and we have a repentant spirit and heart. Those sins too are erased and are no longer recorded in the Lamb's Book of Life. Thank you, Lord, for what you've done for us. And by all this, Communion, you dying, being buried, and put on the cross, and being ascended, all shows what happens to us when we become baptized, born again, Christian men and women of the faith. And that's why we take communion to remind us of that glorious event that took place. Let's partake communion and think about that thought of his blood being shed on the cross. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for everything that you do. Please be with us as we travel throughout the country and do our jobs through the week. Please be with Doug with his patent and help it to be really successful. Be on his dreams. Help him to make a lot of money. Help him to be able to provide for his family and for whatever he wants to provide and be able to help people and help him to have a real good life and be blessed beyond his dreams because of it. Help those who are doing God's work and will that they'll be blessed too beyond their dreams and measure. Thank you for everything that you do. And Lord, you're so wonderful. Please be with us during the week. In Jesus' name I pray. In your name I pray. Always. Amen. Go out and fight the devil and read your Bible every week. This is Michael DeSilva with New Hunter Church of Christ in Mechanicsville, Virginia. Please donate. Please subscribe down below on YouTube. Hit that subscribe button. Please, all of you. And uh, please read your Bible every day. And please practice really living. If you're not, Practice really living a forgiving and changed life and really forgive those who've done wrong to you. Don't just dismiss them like a lot of people often do, but really try to restore them and bring them back in your family or a fellowship because that's what the Bible says and what Jesus says to do because all people sin and all people are sinners. As long as we're not, as long as we're in this world, we will always be that way, even if we're Christians because we're not glorified yet. We haven't been purified yet to be like God, so we're all still sinners. You know, we're covered by his blood when we become baptized. But help us all to remember that. Please prayerfully give to us. We really do need donations at this time. You can send it to us at 1771, I'm sorry, 71, say New Hunter Church of Christ, 7110 New Hunter Road, apartment 423, Mechanicsville, Virginia. Our phone number, if you want to make a credit card donation, is 804-789-9373. Thanks a lot. Take care. God bless. I love you, and thank you for your donations and your love and generosity. Take care. Please share this with your friends and family. I love you. Michael De Silva's signing off.